Hi everyone, this video is about the Epic Spider 3.6 update. Let me tell you about two big features. First one is an opportunity to export search queries from Google Search Console. And the second one is custom HTTP request headers. And today I will tell you all the details about these features. Let's go. Let's start from exporting search queries from Search Console. To do so, go to the Settings, Google Analytics and Search Console tab. Here you will be able to add your Google account that has access to Search Console data. Then you can configure the necessary website to get the data for, necessary data range, devices, country, search type, preferred query filter if you want to do so, and at the end of this tab you will see a new area, Export of Queries from Google Search Console. It's available for all Pro Plan users, so don't forget to upgrade your account, link in the description below. So I ticked on all the checkboxes, I enabled the exporting, then I want to enrich the data for every query by additional parameters device and country, then click on OK, and at the end of the Google Search Console group, the new parameter appeared, Google Search Console queries. I turn it on, then crawl the, some pages of the website and get the data. Let me show you how it looks like. For example, for this page, let's set the filter, for example, that include all the phrases that contains bulk, okay? And here you will see all the queries with the necessary word, the device, the country, number of clicks, impressions, average CTR and average position and how you can actually use this data. For example, you can export it to the external table and gather all the necessary reports by periods. Here I connect two reports for two weeks, week one and week two, all the URLs, queries, clicks, impressions, CTR, position, and then made some pivot tables. Here I, have, I can see the difference in clicks and here in positions for each query for each page. You can do it not only with, with the clicks and positions, also with impressions or with combinations of them. It, it's up to you. Google Spreadsheets, it's the perfect tool for this task. Uh, or another case, if you want to analyze the search queries that your pages rank for, you can find unrelevant queries if you have a lot of them, don't forget to optimize the pages of your website to get rid of them and rank only for the target keywords. So let's move to the second feature. It's custom HTTP request headers. To configure them, go to the settings, HTTP headers, enable them, and you'll be able to add as much headers as you want. Let's test them for example, with case when you want to check either the website will redirect you to another version based on the accept language request headers. For example, here I defined the French code and I want to check either the opera.com website will redirect me uh, to the French version. Click on OK, go to the source code and HTTP headers analysis, type in opera.com and it works well, server redirect us to the French version and seems it's well as at the end of the left part of the interface we can see the accept language header that it has been added manually. Another case how you can use uh, this feature is to pass authentication on the website. To do so, simply go to the website that you want to crawl past the authentication window, the login section, then go to the inspect tool, network tab, then reload the page and click on the first document in the list and here you will see the request header cookie. The only thing that you need is just to copy the value of this header, go to the settings, HTTP headers, add the new one, use cookie one, then paste the value from the browser go to the advanced tab and don't forget to enable cookie checkbox. Then click on OK and 
you can crawl the website using this cookie. Uh, I hope you like this feature, uh, but use it responsibly, because if you will pass the authentication of some kind of maybe social networks or something like this, crawler may follow all the links and it can lead to very bad results like deleting your account or some other actions that you don't want to do at all. Uh, that's it for the PicSpider 3.6 update. Don't forget to go to our blog and check out all the articles, comment them, um, thumbs up and so on. I hope you like this release. Um, Thanks a lot for your attention, subscribe to our channel, all the links in the description of this video. Thanks a lot, have a good day and a lot of traffic. Bye bye.